turn 5 I can stay skilled. Uh, I got a quest from one of the outposts, one of the town I met. Uh, so that's, that's nice because that's what I was expecting. So I'm going to do this quest as fast as possible. And I hope I will get another quest from this uh, city later. And then I am ready to cast some Manturab and I will cast it um, to be able to have the Cherub with, with me for the fight because I really have a low number of units. So I found Seabover and it was very very quick and look where he is, it's just here, a little prospector uh, coming my way. And uh, so the city I saw before, uh, it looks like it was um, independent city next to him and just attacked him. Uh, so we are very close, we are like two, three turns away from each other. And he's playing rogue, dwarf frog. Uh, he's playing ad S earth adept, grey guard adept and wild magic adept. He killed one of the hero who offered to join to him and the second hero too, so just like me. Uh, yeah, and uh, and uh, we are we are in, in deep shit <laughs> because we are very close. And so this turn I managed to get to level seven with two level ups. Um, so I've won a battle here. I lost my cherub. Uh, and uh, that's a shame because I was not able to get the dreads by your BB because I don't have any arch, arch trade or anything. Um, and then next battle, I this one, I took the great the farm and uh, I didn't lost any units and I got a uh, dread monkey and then I did the final battle to level up to level seven this turn and so I didn't lose any units in this battle either and uh, yeah I got this nice watchtower and so now I have to pay attention to CB over and maybe mm, produce an, uh, an untouchable in case he, he rush me with a crow and I need to rush him with my with my cherubs I'm still researching Slayer's Doubt and uh, I think after that I will change my strategy and go for Fireball and not other temple knights because this game will, will be very very quick and I'd like to uh, convert some units um, and uh, uh, skin skin of oil will be very useful for this and after that I'm not sure where I will go but uh, probably this way to try to go and get, get the quest done to get some additional units because I guess that Sebe over is uh, in front of me in, in, in terms of units as I lost 3 units already and I hope I will be able to kill this little prospector. Ah, uh, yeah, and uh, so for the um, abilities of my hero, I to convert, and then I take the healing, uh, holy champion, and I've got three points left, so maybe healing aura, but uh, I don't think it's really useful. Uh, absorb pain is, is nice too. Um, I don't know. I will uh, wait until the next uh, break control. Break control. I will take break control. Definitely. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for this time. Turn six. Uh, I made a terrible mistake in the shrine of the guardian angel, and uh, it was pretty close, but. My leader is now in the void, so I'm now in a deep shit because I don't have any units to, to defend my throne. So <coughs> I, I, I had planned to produce a goblin into Chibo anyway, but now it's really urgent to have one. And then uh, I will try for a goblin settler to, to go uh, in the surface because I know that Seabover is not very good at scooting, so I hope that if I, I settle in the surface, maybe he will not see me and I can move my throne there. Uh, so what happened, basically I got too greedy and I wanted to convert a unit and I, it, it was possible to do that and I succeeded but I failed to to see uh, that one of the units would research because of uh, Great Reawakening uh, which is a sight enchantment. So they, the uh, uh, Martyrs 
put Absorb Pain on the Mystic and the Lesser Spirit Elemental. They attack me. And uh, I, sh I think I should have stayed in defense and just uh, put all my enchantment on. Maybe steal enchantment. Uh, I didn't think about that, I'm so stupid. I don't know if it's possible to steal enchantment with the um, Goblin Blight Doctor. But instead, I, I, I was a bit too aggressive and, uh, and I lost. Uh, yeah, so I killed the, the Dwarf Martyr by st striking the Elemental, but then he came back. So no, the situation is like this. And so uh, I'm, I flank the Mystic so that I can uh, go with my leader and, and, and pass behind it. I uh, weaken uh, the martyr and I convert the, the martyr and then I kill the mystic uh, and I end the turn whereas yeah here so here I should have maybe put my units here I'm not sure if it works or not but maybe it would have prevented it from reanimating and instead uh, I, I did this and so they were able to attack me and it was very 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 stupid because Without the, the mystic uh, pounce, I don't know. Like they did uh, 15 plus 18, that's 33 plus 15. Uh, yeah, okay, so they have, they have much more damage than uh, I could have. So that was very stupid for me. And then I had more theories against me again. And so at, at the end I, I can finish the fight without much issue, but instead of getting one martyr and keeping my hero and, and maybe prolonging the fight, I wanted to, to try, I don't know if I can get a lot of XP from this, but because they're, as they are reawakened, I can kill them several times. Um, but instead, yeah, instead uh, I just lost my hero and I didn't get anything. Let's see, he has 12 XP. Actually, he didn't attack. <clears throat> okay, so he has 77 before the attack. After the attack, still seems so you don't get XP by attacking. Ah, you do get XP when you kill the unit, so you can still farm XP by by attacking a, a shrine and uh, killing the unit several times. Because you know I've got regrowth on the units, but I don't have my hero anymore. And I don't know sure what I do, but I think I will. I will check this dungeon if I can take it with my regrowth units, plus lucky. And uh, then I will do the quest here and probably go back near my my throne so that I can take back my leader and, and see what I can do. And I'm very in a very bad shape. No, 